everyone and welcome back to my channel or hi hello if you are new here I'm so happy to have you today to join me for this home bargains haul I have literally just got back from home bargains and I thought do you know what I've grabbed a few nice bits I thought I might as well show you on camera what I've got just so you can see what they have at the moment in home bargains to see whether it's worth the trip so if you'd like to see everything I picked up in home bargains then just keep on watching so I did buy a whole load of stuff in there, um, a lot of kind of like random food bits as well. So I'm not going to show you like all of that because it's kind of like a, a bit of my weekly shop as well. So I won't do that, but I will show you all of the nice like bath bits, home bits I've got because um, they're a little bit more interesting. So the first thing that I picked up is this little bath shelf. Now I've been looking for one of these for ages um, because my bath is like a bit of an awkward size, it's quite wide. Um, so this just about fits on it, it's not perfect because as you can see it's got these little like dipped in bits here. So this should kind of sit in the middle of the bath and then that those should be on either side. But this is a little bit small but it still fits okay and it is wooden and it's a really really nice white painted wood. And then it's got these slats on it so I think this is going to look perfect in the bathroom, I'm just going to put like a few bits that I use in the bath all the time and then also you, you have these little shelf bits here so on that bit I'm gonna like sit my phone um, and so that I can watch YouTube in the bath which is what I do all the time and I probably put a few candles on here and a glass of wine and this was 6 99 so I thought really good price um, considering the ones I've been looking at online are more like around 20 pounds so I thought yeah I might as well grab this one for now so next up I picked up this Soflora disinfectant I'm sure you've all heard of Soflora so I won't go on forever but this is the midnight bloom scent and this is definitely one of my favorite scents I absolutely love it um, so I did pick this up in the medium size one uh, which is 250 ml and this was 199 and they have loads of these midnight blooms in in home bargains so I was really happy to see it next up I bought this huge bubble bath I have a bath every single night I love having having a bath. Um, I'm always using the Radox bubble baths, but this one is absolutely massive. This is actually a litre. Normally they're 500 ml. So when I saw this, I thought I'm definitely going to get this. And I haven't seen this one before, but it is a Soothe Your Sleep Aromatherapy Sleep Blend with chamomile and white valerian scent. And this is the best scent of bubble bath I've ever smelled. I'm not even exaggerating. It's really nice. It's like a very sweet but calming scent I just absolutely love it so I cannot wait to use that tonight and this was also $1.99 so next up I saw this which I have never seen before I use Fabulosa stuff quite a lot but this is actually a disinfectant spray and it is for furnishings as well as hard things and I just thought that's amazing because like where I've got the dogs um the sofa and stuff can smell so I thought this would be brilliant just to kind of spray over the sofa and kind of kill anything that's on there and make it smell nice really this is the unicorn dust scent and it says on it it kills cold and flu virus so perfect for kind of what's going on at the minute it says here it's suitable for vegans basically you shake well you hold it from hard or soft surfaces about 15 centimeters and it basically sprays like a protective mist over the surface so I guess it stops anything being spread um, but really I just love it because it works on all different surfaces so I can literally just go around and use this everywhere and it also smells really really nice and this was only 89p and you get how much in here? don't know Oh, 400 ml you get in there for 89p so that's a really good price I did buy two of these next up I have another bath item which is this Dove body wash now I always use the Dove body wash but I hadn't seen this one before this is the soothing summer ritual limited edition scent which I just thought the bottle looked really nice so let's have a smell oh that's really nice yeah it's quite a fresh floral scent really really nice inspired by rituals of Mexican women and this is a huge 720 ml bottle so again it's larger than what you'd normally find like in the regular supermarkets and this was 2.99 I think so maybe a little bit more expensive but it is still like quite a big bottle so next up I did get another body wash and I saw this and thought oh my god it looks so cool it is actually a Carex drumsticks 
squashies flavour uh, body wash. This is the raspberry and milk. Whoa, that's sweet. It smells like a fizzy can drink. Yeah, it smells nice. Um, I just loved it though. I thought, oh, it smells like sweets and that's really cool. Um, this one was 99p and it's 500 ml. And then next to this, I saw this, which is actually a, another drumstick product. Um, but this is a dry shampoo and this is actually in bubblegum scent. And I just thought, oh, it like matches him with this one. And it's another sweet thing. So I thought, let's try that. I'm just going to give it a go on my hair and see what it smells like. Very sweet. <coughs> Very sweet. But nice. I can feel it in my hair, but it's not like, it's not like the best like quality one. I can feel it there, but it's not like the best one. But still, that again was 99p so i thought a really good price for a dry shampoo they had so so many body washes dry shampoos they had loads of stuff in there and all stuff that you just don't see anywhere else so that's why i grabbed quite a few random bits so the next thing i bought from that kind of random aisle was this coconut mineral body scrub this is a salt scrub and is it a salt one? Yeah, it is salt. With natural dead sea salts and coconut oil. So I do love coconut oil. So I thought, oh, let's try this one. Don't know what this is going to smell like. I'm just going to have to stab this. Oh. oh, oh God. So it's like, you know, when you get a nice body scrub and it has that kind of liquid on top and then like the salts running through it like this. So it has the liquid on top and then the salts running through and it smells Oh, it smells so good. It's a really nice, strong coconut scent with like a bit of sweet. It kind of smells a bit like caramel. Oh, that's nice. And this actually was only, I think this was 199. So I thought that's a really good price for like such a huge, like pot of body scrub. How much do you get in here? 660 grams. So a massive pot of that. So they had quite a lot of different things from this Dead Sea collection. This is the collection it was in. And they had loads of stuff from the Dead Sea, all different scents and like body washes, shampoos. But I just thought I'd give the body scrub a go. Okay, so next up I found these little stick-on nails. Now if you watched my Poundland haul, I bought some Poundland stick-on nails and I got on so well with them. I just thought how easy, like when you're going away or going out for the evening just to stick them on. So I thought I would try some different ones. These are the Elegant Touch ones and... They are designed by Paloma Faith. But yeah, look, I don't know if you can see, but they are this gorgeous iridescent shade, like pink and gold iridescent. I just thought they looked so nice. And they're in the stiletto shape, but like with my Poundland ones, I just filed them into the shape that I wanted them because I always find these stick on nails are a bit too long. But yeah, I can't remember exactly how much these were, but I think they were around 2 99 They weren't expensive. They weren't a pound, but yeah, they weren't too bad. So yeah, I can't wait to try those out. Okay, so next up, this is a bit of a random one. This is literally just a foam insole for your heels. But um, for my previous video, wait, I don't know if I've shown that one yet. Yeah, I have everything five pounds video yeah from my previous everything five pounds video i picked up a really really nice pair of heels from everything five pounds they're really nice but the only thing was they're like a wide fit and i didn't realize so in the video i actually said i'm going to find something like this so this is perfect they're like foamy inserts and you have like a raised fit here for the heel and then at the toe and you just stick them in your heels and i hope this is going to make them fit a little bit better and these were only 99p so i thought it's worth a try you do find some random stuff in home bargains, don't you? You just walk around and you're like, yep, I need that, I need that. I didn't even realise I need that, but I'll have that. And then you get to the till and you think, oh my God, what have I bought? Okay, so next up, this has to be my favourite thing that I found in home bargains. And it is this wax melt burner from Yankee Candle. So it is an actual branded one. It is the Yankee Candle one. And it comes with this gorgeous wax burner in the middle. And then you have a little tea light with it. And then it also comes with a set of wax burners. So a wax melt. So let's open that. Now, this from Yankee Candle is £12. But in home bargains, it's 4 99 So yeah, I felt like I got such a bargain with this one. Home bargains. So in it, you get this little set of wax melts. You do get six in there. And they are in the scent Spring Love. And they're quite big ones as well. Oh, they smell really nice. 
Oh, they smell like, they remind me of a perfume. I can't remember, they smell really nice though, like nice, strong, like a perfume scent. And then you do get a little tea light that comes with it, but obviously you're gonna need to buy a lot more of those. And then the actual burner looks like this, and I just absolutely love the shape of this. It is just a plain white burner with like the hole on both sides and then the bit in the top to put your wax melt. But I love the shape of this. I just think it's such a nice, like modern, but simple and will go with everything. And it's white and it feels really, really nice quality. I do have a, another wax melt burner from the pound shop and it's great, absolutely fine. I really like it. Um, but now I've felt this one, I can feel the difference in the quality to the other one that I've got. So. I think, yeah, you definitely do get a little bit more quality with the Yankee Candle one. Um, and just remember, this was only 4 99 so it's not that bad, I don't think. Plus, it comes with the wax melts as well. I do use other wax melts, so I'll probably just use these up and then go back to the other wax melts that I use because I love those. But yeah, really, really happy with this purchase. Definitely my favourite item. Okay, so next up, this is probably the one item that I'm not too sure about, but I just picked them up anyway. Um, they are these rose gold placemats, but they're kind of like a rubbery texture. They're a really strange texture. Um, my idea for these was to go on my outside table. I did buy some others for outside, but like the sun hit them and they faded. So I just thought these would be really good because they feel like really durable and like waterproof. So, and they're heavy. So they, they're, they, are, they do look a bit strange. I'm not sure. I think I can make them look nice. But yeah, it was the weight of them, the fact you can wipe them over, the fact that if they get wet, they'll just dry out, that I thought they'd be perfect for outside. I did buy two packs of them. And they were only £1.50 for two. So that means they're 75p each, which I thought, actually, I'm just going to get them. And even if I just use them for like, I don't know, the next few months before I find ones that I really like, um, then they're still going to kind of get me through that because at the minute we've just got like the plain table and it never just quite looks right and I, I like I want to make it look really nice. So yeah, really happy with these. But let me know what you think. Are they nice? Do they look a bit tacky? I wish they weren't quite so, I think, shiny. Look how, sh look how reflective they are. Yeah, I wish they weren't quite so reflective. Uh, but I'm sure they'll look fine once they're outside. Like, I mean, they're just going in the garden. They're not like for the actual dining table. So I'm sure they will be fine. So I have another cleaning product to show you and it is a Viacol spray. I always use Viacol in my bathroom for the toilet, sink and bath. Um, it really makes like ceramic really shiny. So if you haven't used it on your ceramic stuff, use it because it's really, really good. And you can also use it on stainless steel. It is quite corrosive. So if you've got anything delicate, don't use it on it. In my bathroom, I've got rose gold taps and I thought I could clean it with this and it literally, as I scrubbed it, it scrubbed the rose gold off my little plug. So I was like, no, luckily I didn't use it on the main part of the tap. I tried it on the plug first. So that was lucky because I didn't just put it all over the tap. But anyway, yeah, it's strong stuff, but it's really good for cleaning. But the reason I picked this one up is because it is in a different scent. It's got Febreze in it as well, in a fresh scent. And I haven't seen one that's mixed with Febreze. So I thought I definitely want to try that. And I did actually clean the bathroom just for this video with it. So I could tell you whether I liked it or not. And I definitely prefer it. I prefer this one compared to the usual scent. So definitely if you do see this scent, it's a little bit more sweet and fresh. Whereas the other one smells a bit more chemically. So I absolutely love this. And this was, what was this? One... I think it was 129 this one so yeah it's not an expensive thing but it really does work it's also really good for lime scale so if you've got a shower and it like builds up any lime scale you can just spray it with this leave it for five minutes and it just wipes off so easily i feel like a few things in this haul are like really boring that they are just like normal stuff that you might come across but i just get excited for stuff like this so i thought i'd just show you anyway so the next thing i did see was this and all it is is two little what do they call these Oh, document wallets is what it's described as. So for my business, so I run a beauty salon and I need somewhere to like keep receipts and stuff like that. At the minute I just shove them in a drawer, I'm so unorganized. So I thought these would be brilliant just to put receipts in. You do get two in a pack and they're pretty cheap feeling. They don't feel like that good, but they are just like these pop open wallets and I just thought they'd be quite handy. They were in the stationery section. There was loads of other stationery stuff. Um, so I might go back in there and get some more stationery bits. If you are looking for any stationery stuff, 
then definitely pop in there because there was so much. And I don't know if I said, but these were only 79p for two. So they're just a useful thing, aren't they? It's not very exciting. And then talking about not very exciting stuff, I'm going to show you the last thing that I bought, but I thought it was actually quite handy and I'll show you just in case you're looking for any. They did have a load of face masks. What are these made out of? So these are the polyester and spandex ones. The, you know the really soft ones you see people wearing that just hook around your ear like, but it's material all the way. Um, and they had them in a few different colours. I did pick up three, but I've given one to Ollie. Um, and it was three for five pounds, which I thought was actually really good. They do, I was trying out the one that I gave to Ollie and it does kind of like when you speak, it kind of like comes down a bit and doesn't cover your nose. But then I realized that there was adult size ones and there must have been children size ones. So maybe if female or you've got a smaller head, you should probably go for a kid's size one because these do feel a little bit too big for me. But I just thought they were handy to show you anyway. And they also had visors in there and the visors they had like you know not everyone's going to want a visor but for me i have to wear a visor for work um so i just mention it anyway but they had the visors that i've seen on amazon which are 7.99 they had them in there for 1.99 so definitely don't just go on amazon straight away check out home bargains for anything like this they have loads hand sanitizers all sorts of things um to protect you so anyway just thought i'd show you that i know it's a little bit boring and we're probably sick of face masks but that is the world we're living in at the minute. So guys, that is everything that I picked up that I thought might be slightly interesting. I didn't want to show you, like I bought food, I bought some popcorn, I bought, yeah, lots of other stuff, but we didn't need to go into all of that. I thought I'd just show you the bath and body bit. So I really, really hope you enjoyed the video. If you did enjoy the video, please give it a thumbs up and definitely comment down below and let me know what was your favorite thing or let me know what you found in Home Bargains that you think everybody should know about because I just love hearing about all these cool things that you can find in there if you'd like to see more from me definitely subscribe to the channel usually i'm filming like clothing hauls or like amazon hauls or shopping hauls if i've gone and got something i think it might be interesting i will show it so if you enjoy that definitely subscribe down below but anyway i hope you're all having a lovely week and hopefully i will see you in the next one bye